As we anticipate the 2019 election, then some of the debates in the polity pointing at the question of leadership and the clamor for inclusive and responsible leadership, what should the people be doing to really get the dividends of democracy? Let's get to meet my panel tonight on the program. Mr. Ezenwan Wagu is the Executive Director of Partners for Electoral Reforms, and with him there is a former presidential advisor and the Director of Media and Communications for the Coalition of Nigeria Movement, Mr. Akin Oshuntokun. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time on the program. Mr. Ewangu, let me begin with you tonight on the program. If you look at some of the issues raised and the fact that 2019 elections are just a few months away, the issues of vote buying. Uh, Professor Jagar did say there that it's good that we have democracy, but the fact remains that uh, some of uh, the dividend that we should be seeing as a people in our democracy are still not there. And the question of the kind of leadership that we have is still a very big challenge. What exactly do you think is wrong with the sort of democracy we operate in this part of the world? Well, Shane, thank you. Good evening. Um, I think that um, liberal democracy generally is, is currently gasping for breath. Uh, it's not just in Nigeria. Across the globe, people are rethinking uh, this, this democracy. Um, that is why you could uh, see somebody who is outside of uh, the political party system in the U.S. become president. You could see uh, Macron. You could see a lot of people are beginning to think that this thing is not working for the people. But for, for, for us, uh, perhaps what has <laughs> happened is that we have not been able to uh, civilianize our democracy. By that, I mean that what we have generally in mind, uh, democracy that is practiced by people who are not Democrats. Um, the military hangover, uh, some of the things we took over from the military, those who took over from them have not been able to shield those things. And some of them is the arrogance that you see uh, in people in power. Uh, the I know it all syndrome, nobody can, can tell us what to do. Uh, corruption generally. And, and all of those things have become the defining you know, issue around what we have as democracy. And, and that is why there's a push to see uh, how we can begin to uh, remove the constriction that, that is holding our democratic space. Uh, sometimes a lot of people will criticize Nigeria's democracy, saying that, look, uh, at the elections, at the polls, it's not a, a problem of picking the best out of the best. It's just that you are condemned to pick uh, the, 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 the best out of the worst that you have. Uh, as we approach 2019, do you think that that could be a scenario that will play out in the next election? Well, I, I don't like the thing about worst or good. I, I think that what, what would be better is that you have choices. And uh, those choices are those who, uh, those who, who do, the, good, the good people, so-called, uh, if, the, if they don't come into the play, uh, then you would have no choice than to, to have those that have come. And democracy is also about the right to, to, to choose. And so sometimes when you talk about good and bad, uh, that definition has, has a challenge for me. Uh, because the truth of the matter is that it's about everybody. And if you exempt yourself, uh, you, you then would be ruled by those who you don't want to rule you. So if, if it's bad, then bring in the soap and wash it. Uh, so... I don't want us to get into the good and bad scenario. And Nigeria has the tendency to always come to that uh, definition about, oh, this, this, this is the worst, this is the best. Where is, where is your best? Let them come out. Let them put their feet out. Uh, so you can't stay in your house and complain. And that has been the challenge. Uh, and that's why we're saying, if you are that good, if you have value to add, it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to show yourself. It's time for you to show your skills. We have 68 political parties. Uh, even though you have uh, a tendency for a dominant two-party system. But out of, those other six, uh, uh, um, out of those other 66, you could always find a vehicle through which you can express your aspirations and, and show what you can do. 